Hey everybody, Kamaki here from MLive.com, previewing the Lions Thanksgiving game against Chicago. Key to this game for Detroit, you gotta protect Matthew Stafford. That has been an issue for this, this, this team uh, for about a month now. Um, obviously no sacks allowed on Sunday against Carolina, but six the week before that, before that against Chicago, 10 the week before that against Minnesota. These defenses like Minnesota's and Chicago's that can send pressure at Matthew Stafford, it's really confounding this offense without Golden Tate, without the safety valve in the short field. Kenny, Gall Kenny Galladay's good, right? I and mean, we saw him blow up last week against Carolina, but those routes take time to develop. Stafford did not have that time two weeks ago against Chicago, and if he doesn't have it on, on Thursday, on Thanksgiving, it's going to be another very long afternoon for the Lions offense that has really struggled this year against teams that can turn up the pressure. Player to watch for Detroit, I've got my eye on Zach Zenner. This is the first game Detroit's playing without Carrion Johnson. Carrion Johnson has been such a huge lift for this offense, giving it a second dimension, achieving some, some balance that they haven't had really throughout the whole Matthew Stafford era. Um, and now he's out. Uh, I think with Garrett Blunt will get the start in the backfield. I, I just don't think, and he has, he's had so little success this year, in particular over the last month. Seven carries against Carolina, one yard. I just don't think he, he's the guy for the job. I do think we'll see a bunch of Zach Zenner Early, he'll get a shot. Um, he's had success before as an injury replacement. If he can find some more of that success, I think he'll be the guy on Thanksgiving. Uh, my prediction for this this game, I got the Lions losing 20-17. to 17. I know Chicago is without Mitchell Trubisky. I, I do think that'll be a huge issue for them, and they'll struggle to score points. Uh, but I think the Lions will struggle more to score, to score points. Without Marvin Jones, without Karen Johnson, no TJ Lang, I just don't know how they're going to deal with that pressure that we saw just two weeks ago. Uh, and be able to, to score enough points to keep a pace with a team and the Bears that have won four straight.